that kind of phraseology, BAME, mm. black, Asian, minority, ethnic, on the whole, was what it meant. And we say in the book, okay, so it's redundant now. Most businesses have stopped using that as a catch-all for anyone, actually, who's not white. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Um, and that's not very good data analysis, not very good evidence of your stats. Yeah. It doesn't tell you of your BAME population who is doing well in promotions, who is not. I mean, it doesn't tell you enough, the detail that you need. So most organisations accept that. Mm. And what organisations are looking at now is separating those black, Asian, minority, ethnic, and reporting more. Because originally we say in the book, you know, it came from a data gathering exercise. It did. That many businesses, governments use throughout the world yeah. about categorising people, yeah. really. And yeah. it, we became a bit lazy, put everyone that was other all together. And BAME was the acronym that mm. we all adopted and we used. Mm. Indeed, being a black person myself, as you are, mm. um, being known you're being labelled as part of the BAME kind of community, you just thought, really? Yeah. And it doesn't create this sense of belonging either, no. does it? it no. If anything, it, it divides and, it, and it excludes. Mm. 